and here she is. It is a 2001 Protege 1500 Chevy conversion van. Got the barn doors just on this side and in the back. Um, I paid money for it. Um, I did put about a thousand dollars of work, a couple things in the engine, and I had somebody weld these to the frame, the running boards, so they're nice and sturdy and safe for me to use. Um, she's a beast. She's a big girl. So that is one says protege, one says regency. I think it might have been um, in an accident or something. Um, I guess the bumpers are a little wonks, wampus. But you know, I like it. It gets about 15 miles to the gallon. Gas mileage ain't the best, but it's home and I'm happy in it. So we are going to start in the back because this is the messiest. It's not really messy. It's just I filled it up very quick. So I'm trying to figure out how to put this. But here you go. This is my extra clothes and food. Um, I've been stocking up on food. Extra blankets. Bathroom care. There is a metal shelf. It's got two shelves, um, more clothes, art supplies. My hats have been hanging here, but I needed the clippy, um, so I got to get more of those. But that is what it looks like. Now, when I'm plugged in, I've got my 1800 watt cord that one of my roadie friends got me. And it just goes through there so I can shut the doors. So let's tour this part. Of course, driver's side. And I've got the windshield covering up um, for now. And then my window covering over there um, is just poster board cut to fit um you can't really see in that window because of that shelf there so i don't worry too much about that what i keep in this seat is a couple jackets it's been cold lately usually two cases of water my bug screens i'm working on and my mail all the stuff from the accident um under here is my vacuum that a roadie friend got me it's great happy vacuum on the road um, my tools um, this sits in my chair my lawn chair to pad it a little bit more like my backside isn't enough and then my dirty laundry now from here um, I keep some of my hats here my ear Muffs because wind bothers my ears. A little basket of shoes again. And then I keep a knife there. Um, I only have two pairs of sunglasses. They rescued one and my daughter bought me these pair. Um, so I'm going to have to build up that collection again. Um, my USB port. And then in here, toothpaste napkins, makeup, um, everything in this door, the driver's door, I don't really keep anything but a couple of tools. And then in this bag, which I just got clipped to the car seat, I've got mousse, hair comb, um, rose water, toner for my face. And here where I keep the side covers, I also keep the windshield cover. Um, I don't really like the car seats, covers, but I'm going to try to keep it very simple up here so when people walk by, um, it don't look like a girl living in here by herself. 
even though most people know this big of a van, somebody's probably living in it. So here I can do this at each window. Eventually, it will be wood there. That way I can look out each window when I want. So from this view, you can see this beautiful uh, coral in gray and white. It's a lawn chair pillow. I got it for 20 bucks. Um, so on a rainy day or a day I've got a great view and just want to sit in here, I move this footstool over. I put my feet up and I sit and I read. Um, it's just perfect. Um, the fan back here, which I did have to order another one. That's one thing I ordered. I've got that. And it is hooked up to my Angler um, power pack. I keep this charged. And that runs my fan at night. So if I get a little warm and I can't have the windows open, because not many windows open here. And then this is also my bed. And I don't fold it. I'll show you how I can fold it into a king size bed. Right now, a double bed because there's so much junk back there. Um, but I just leave it in couch mode. And then at night, I just flip this over. And in the morning, I can just pull it right back here. And that is this end. Um, back here is where all that stuff was. It's like a closet. I can store all that stuff back there and never see it. That's probably how come so much ends up back there. I wanted to show you from this side. Here's my footstool. Um, I got that for $10 and it is packed full with shoes. My kids rescued four pairs of shoes and then a friend bought me a pair, and then I went into a Goodwill, and they had them for a dollar each, so I bought five more pair. Um, so I've got a buildup of shoes already. Um, and you can see the stickers up here. So she had paneling contact paper up there. I pulled that off, and there was stickers all the way through, and black. And I am painting it. It's not done. I've got to get the rest of the stickers off. Um, I haven't decided if I'm putting curtains up there. Because my feet, I kick at night. Um, and I'll probably just kick them down. But right here, when that door is closed and I'm traveling, or I'm someplace stationary, is where my lawn chair goes. Um... My guitar, I keep moving it around because I really don't have a spot for it. This is what I am really excited about. These are poster board. And I've got each window so I can open it and see out. Eventually, I do want to make those wood. And then I can close them up. And, of course, my light. I did order two of these because um, they were not saved from the van. And then my curtains back here. And I don't think I'll put curtains on this window because, again, I'll probably pull them down. But those were shears at Walmart for $4.98. And I sprayed glitter on those. And back there I keep my room freshener, reading glasses, things like that. And this little shelf I bought for $2. And I'm going to get a piece of plexiglass and glue it. And then as I collect seashells, I can put them in there and they'll still be displayed. Back here, up here I keep um, my jackets and sweatshirts, things like that. And I can open it with the fan without detaching it. So that's nice. Up here is food, snacks. Things that I've got that I can cook a meal in here without going to the back. And then on this side is 
condiments, junk drawer, junk drawer, bathroom needs, hats, and my sacks. Um, up here is where I keep my front uh, passenger and door window uh, poster board. And then my undies and bras. And then these are just boxes that I covered with paper. And I got um, pants, t-shirts, and dresses. This is hung down. Um, or it's down with the super blue tape that I get at Dollar Tree. And of course, our cabinet I'm so proud of. Um... My dishes, my plates, my cereal, it's all in there. The electrical I haven't quite figured out. And I do have the shelf right there, but it's got to be cut down to hold the stove. And then down here in this part, why doesn't this want to open? Oh, just, I don't know, pots and pans. And that isn't dust, that's spray paint. I don't know why that must have gotten pushed back here under the driver's seat. I keep a fan and a heater. And then here I keep my buddy heater and the extra cans of propane are there. And then right here I keep the side window covers, which again is poster board. And I'll show you how easy if I get someplace and I just pop them on just like that. And I'm set. Yeah, you can see light through it, but nobody can see in. Um, this is a belt that holds. Um, when you're coming up, you can grab it. Uh, when I got this van... Um, my kids test drove it for me. I couldn't get inside it even. I was in still very bad shape. It was like two and a half weeks after the accident. Um, so that was very helpful when I was able to start getting in and out. Um, the day we bought it that night, I tried to get in here and it took me like 40 minutes to crawl in. Um, so that was something else. And right there, you can see my little mermaid that was rescued. Um, this I bought. It's a planter for two bucks at a Goodwill. And I'm going to make that into my sink. It works great. And this a friend bought for me. It was $10. And I don't know if I'm going to put my propane. Right now, it's carrying my water, my dish soap. A uh, little bag of body clean stuff so I can take indoor baths. And she just hit a wave and took off. Um, trying to see. My bathroom is right here by my bed. Um, the refrigerator was a gift, as this was a gift. That takes 1,500 watts. I'm never going to be able to use it unless I'm plugged in. So I'm going to give it back to her. She's like, no, just pass it on. So I will do that. And the refrigerator, I can use it if I'm plugged in, but it's too many watts for my solar. Um, the kids were able to rescue my solar generator. It still works. I'm so thankful for that. But I either need to upgrade my solar or get the fridge that I had before, which that would be a whole lot cheaper. It'd be $200. So when I get back, I'm going to take a trip for a couple of months and I'll be plugged in. When I get back, I'm going to give the girl back her fridge and I'll put a piano bench here with my potty underneath. <coughs> And my chest uh, refrigerator there. So it'll be the same layout, basically. And this is what it looks like from the front. Of course, the pillow I didn't put back. Um, under there, you can't really keep nothing because 
the bed moves, but I do have um, my jewelry that the kids were able to rescue. Not all of it, but a little bit of it. And then my solar is sitting right there. Um, haven't figured out this whole electrical, how I'm going to do that, but it's here and it works for now. Um, I was going to show you the bed. Let me walk back there. And I can stand up in here, which is great. See? I can totally stand up. Now, I don't know if you can see, but I sprayed glitter all over my ceiling. And I sprayed glitter all over my doors. So you just push these buttons right here. One moves the bed. See how it's folding back? Or I can move it out. I can move it back. But I just leave it like it is. It works for me. I don't know how well you can see this, but I spray glittered my steps. And then I am starting to draw wild and free as the sea. Um, so I'm kind of excited when I get that finished. Um, there's a lot of work to be done here yet, but are our homes ever truly done? Okay, I'm sure you're probably wondering, she don't have sheets on her bed. No, I don't. And I do have, I bought a set of sheets. So, you see a lot of van lifers as you're saying they're full time. I just watched one on TikTok and she was outside of her van, looked like the desert setting, beautiful. Opened her barn doors, crawled right into her bed with white sheets. I can't keep my van clean and I'm cleaning constantly. The dust, the sand, the dirt. I don't know how people that have white bedding especially keep their sheets totally white. Um, so I don't stick to this. It doesn't make me sweat. So I haven't been using my sheets. Now that it's getting colder, this does retain the cold. So I'm going to have to put sheets on it. But guess what? I got black sheets. I do change them twice a week. But that way you don't see the dirt. Um, I am so full time that I don't know. Either I'm sloppier than most. Or I go on more dirt roads. But the darker colors work best because it doesn't show the dirt. I'm constantly wiping things down. And this fan's got a lot more air. Um, it needs feather stripping around the doors and all of that. Um, so this is my home. It's my studio beach home. And I just, I love every bit of it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, nothing is to attach down. I didn't drill in except for this little shelf here. Um, everything stays <coughs> where it should be. Um, it's either sticky glued down or it's heavy enough it just doesn't move. Um, so I can't wait to be back out on the road. I'm gonna take a camp host job uh, for the next five or six weeks. And then I'll be back in Iowa for seven weeks and then I'll be back on the road. In the meantime, keep God in your heart, travel, explore, stay fantastic. I can't wait to see